someone who taught millions of us about vanquishing the nightmares of a terrible past by living with gratitude for what you have now every day. J.C. Lee Dugard kidnapped as a child spending 18 years in captivity. She just made her first trip to New York City to receive the Diane von Furstenberg Inspiration Award handed to her by none other than Oprah Winfrey. And then J.C., who withdrew back into privacy after our first interview, agreed to sit down again to tell me how her life has changed today. You may remember she was 11 years old waiting for the school bus when convicted sex offender Philip Garrido and his wife Nancy kidnapped her and imprisoned her in a deranged backyard. She was pregnant at 13, gave birth to two daughters. Her incredible story of survival told in the book A Stolen Life. I was kidnapped by a stranger at age 11, and I want Philip Garrido to know that I no longer have to keep his secret. We first spoke to her eight months ago, and this is J.C. Dugard today, still taking delight in ordinary things, like her first trip to New York City. Oh, the buildings are incredible, oh my God. Oh my God, these cab drivers are like in and out, in and out, in and out. She is 31 and still reclaiming her real life. Do you ever forget for whole days what happened to you? Oh, sure. It's not, it's not with me every day. I mean, that is over. You know, he, Nancy and Philip are behind bars. He hasn't tried to contact you, has he? No, not at all, which is fine with me. <laughs> Have you felt more anger? Have I you? am angry, you know. But then the other, on the other hand, I have two beautiful daughters that I can never be sorry about. The daughters fathered by Garrido. She managed to protect their privacy even after the book. Do the girls want to talk to you and ask you questions? We were in that situation together, and they know what happened. And it's time to move on and start, start fresh. You said when we talked before that maybe you'll find someone for you, someone you love and who does love you. I take it day by day. No one you've seen so far go by and you thought, I'd like no, to meet them. No, I'm just, I, I can't go there yet. <laughs> it's too soon. After 18 years of mind control and terror, still so much that has to be relearned. Learning how to speak up, how to say what I, I want instead of finding out what everybody else wants. It's, well, do I really want this? So that is something I've learned. So are you surprised that it takes this long? I think. No, I mean, it was a lot of years. A lot of years. <laughs> she says today she spends a lot of her time on her foundation, the Jace Foundation, which helps families reuniting after trauma. And this is. Not just families of children who were taken, this is families. Military families that have been torn apart. Um, I mean, just tragic events, like if you're displaced or something like that, you know, the Jace Foundation will help. It's all part of her gratitude for every single day. Life is too short to think about all the things you don't have. Even if it is just one thing or person you have, to be thankful for. That is enough. Before she left, we checked once again that secret list a little girl held captive once made as she dreamed what life could be. See mom. Mm -hmm. First on the list. <laughs> See the pyramids. Ride in a hot air balloon, can check Did that, that off. Check. <laughs> Learn to drive. Check. <laughs> Swim with the dolphins? Not yet. Learn to sail? No. That would be fun. Horseback ride. Check. <laughs> Write a bestseller. Check. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Yeah. Anything you want to add to your list? No. Who knows? Right. I live here in the present, so. Right. Let's see. You the could... future is what you make of it. The future is what you make of it. And when she received her award, JC said one day, quote, my hope is to be remembered for what I do, not what happened to me.